Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this as x tends to 0 from the positive direction. Um, here, L'Hopital's rule doesn't really help us because at the moment, as x tends to 0, this thing is going to head towards 0, uh, this thing is going to head towards 0. So you've got 0 over 0. But if you try and use L'Hopital's rule, it doesn't really help because uh, using L'Hopital's rule, if you, um, if you differentiate this, it will then give you this. If you differentiate this, it will then give you this thing here. And then if you tidy up, it will then give you this. Now this looks uglier than what we had earlier. So, um, so, so rather than, rather than trying to find the limit of this, let's just stick to this. L'Hopital's rule doesn't really help us here. So somehow find the limit of this. Um, uh, uh, yeah, somehow find the limit of this. That's x tends to zero. L'Hopital's rule doesn't really help us. Okay, so press and have a go. So to do this, um, to do this, let's 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 just say the whole limit is y. Take the natural log of both sides. So uh, take the natural log of this. Take the natural log of this. Uh, so that will then give you. So you've got your natural log here. And then this thing here is this thing here. Uh, remember, natural log of a over b uh, is the same as natural log of a minus natural log of b. So that's the same as natural log of a. Take away natural log of b so that's this thing here so uh so that will then take us to here and then and then uh then then if you look at it natural log natural log to uh to this again then you've got a negative here and a negative here so uh so when you get to this stage here if if you you're trying to find the limit as x tends to zero from the right hand side. So here if you look at so here you've got you've got one block adding another block. So so your natural log looks like this, something like this, and then your one over x looks like this. So as x tends to 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 uh, to zero from the right hand side here, as x tends to zero, which will win? Uh it, it will here you've got this something over here plus something over here. So, um, so looking at this, how can you tell which one's going to win? You've got one block. So, so for example, if you look at the natural log, it could be, I don't know, negative 999 here. And here you could have negative, uh, sorry, you, here you could have positive, whatever here. Maybe, I don't know, whatever up here. But, um, how can you tell which one's going to win? Here you've got one block, uh, adding another block. So, so your natural log looks like this. Your one over x looks something like this. Which one climbs faster or which one pulls faster at the moment you've got one block adding another block you can't really tell which one's going to win so the what what you do here when you get to this stage when you get a, um, uh, a number that's very very close to zero so you've got natural log looking like this one over x looking like this so select a, a number very very close to um, to zero let's select the number 10 to the power of negative 9 9 so now if you if you um if you natural log that number natural log ten to the power of negative nine nine um and then here you've got plus and then one over uh ten to the power of negative nine nine this thing here will will come down here so you will have uh negative nine nine uh and then and then times a block uh a block of log ten. So, so this negative 99 can come down here, and then you've got your natural log of 10 here. Oops, bear with me. Sorry, bear with me. Okay, so you've got, um, hang on, bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, so you've got, um, well, yeah. so, uh, so this, uh, this negative 99 will come down here. That's this bit here. And then you've got your natural log of 10, natural log of 10. Over 10 to the power of positive 99. So now you you type. Well, basically this thing here will be um, will be 10 to the power of 99. Okay. So so th this block here will be this, and then um, and then this here is 99, and then this is roughly what's what's natural log of 10. Let, let's just say roughly three. So here you've got negative. 
nine uh, times three, whatever that is, plus this massive number here. So, so it seems as if this one's going to win. Um, relatively well this looking at the one of rex graph as x tends to as x tends to zero as x tends to zero it's going to head towards positive infinity so this thing here is going to head towards positive infinity so uh, so this whole thing here Will head, towards, will head towards positive infinity. So you've got natural log of y here, and then now e equally to both sides. That will then give you this e, and then uh, these two in a way show out, leaving you with 